Uh, good day, Residents of Ward 56, Councillor Michael Crichton here outside of the Reuben City Power Depot. This video is probably going to be a bit longer than usual, but I feel that I owe the community a detailed explanation of what's going on. So I understand that the residents, part, um, parts of Resettable, are extremely frustrated. They were without power for over three days. Many would have seen the teams working at the new mini substation that's been uh, placed at the uh, in Zinia Street, closest corner is Prairie Street, um, and they were, I believe, they were close to turning it on. But believe it or not, they were called away from there to go to Mondial to implement load shedding. Now, I know that sounds absurd, but um, apparently they are scared that uh, ESCOM is going to penalize them if they don't implement load shedding and they only have very limited resources today as if they don't have any contractors, I believe. Um, so, after they've done the load shedding, they're going straight back to Rosettenville to turn on the power, I'm told. And then from there, they're going to go to Townsview. Now, I don't blame the residents of Townsview for being extremely frustrated because they were supposed to turn them on last night but didn't have access to the block of flats, which I only heard about after the fact that they'd already left. Um, so, you know, I sent them a contact number, but then they, they were already in Eriton and then they never got back there. So apologies to the residents of Townsview, but uh, they're going to be in your area from Rosettenville. I'm, I've been promised that. So uh, just going back to the topic of them having to use their resources to um, implement load shedding, especially when there's limited resources. One would think with the simple amount of power outages we've been having, we've been saving them the required amount of megawatts in any event without any load shedding taking place. That's something I'll have to raise on a higher level. Um, I believe that uh, the, this, uh, this depot has got over 641 outstanding calls, which is the second highest in the city. Overall, across the city, there's over 3,000 calls outstanding. Uh, so I understand there's a lot of individual dresses that have also been out for some time. And I'm doing what I can under difficult circumstances to try and get your problem addressed as well. Um, a lot of these issues are out of my hands as a ward councillor. I know my other fellow ward councillors in the neighbouring wards are also struggling. And uh, my colleagues across the city are complaining. Uh, but we are trying our best under very difficult circumstances.